one. It's 921. Are you looking for dessert to serve your dad this weekend? This I, is a fabulous idea. This is the perfect idea. Jen Preserata is in the house. That's so Jen.com. Where's the beer? I mean, I see the, the It's right beer there, cake. right? This is a non-alcoholic beer cake oh, so okay. that we could enjoy it as right. well. Right, well, true. <laughs> we, we have the baby bumps. Do, do ladies true. compare bumps? Do you guys? Well, we just did, we just but Jen is about a month ahead of me. Yeah, I got a little okay. time on it. We'll right. talk. Right. <laughs> I got, this is my beer gut, right? Well, right congratulations here. to both of you. No, no, no. <laughs> so, okay, so I actually kind of like a little funny, but I use this over-the-hill cake pan because mm -hmm. this is what I found, but you can do this with a regular... We're improvising. Yes, a regular rectangular pan as well if you're crafty. So what I did here, so I cut off the bottom to make the flat of my mug. This is going to be for your handle. Okay? So save, save that. And so we're saving, so I'll show you this part. So this is your handle ah, here. Ah, crafty, crafty. Okay. And this, this is a carrot cake this that you carrot, made. This is here. your snack. This okay, is to eat. Handle <laughs> snack. <laughs> All right, so we save this for a minute. <laughs> Yummy. And we'll this attach is good. it. Thank Give you. Me and a then, piece. as you yeah. can see here, I made it smaller. Baked off a piece right here. This will end up going on the oh, side. Thanks, right? <laughs> and making your little mug. And all we do here, so I did carrot cake I, because I think this is kind of the color of beer. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, kind of. <laughs> so for us, so I'm kind of a little bit of a frosting snob, so I made my a own. frosting snob? I, I like that's to make a my first. own frosting. I've never heard of that. But I don't discriminate against certainly, frosting. certainly, certainly mm. buy it at the store. Okay. But if you, um, you want to just tint it yellow, so I don't know if they sell yellow. Now, when now I can. can we take a look at the, um, what, what, what is that? Okay, I mean, so I'm going to show you. So first of all, we're doing the whole bottom. <laughs> it's, it's Friday. Ryan, I, I, I'm Ryan, so checked patient. out. Yeah, that thing over there. <laughs> you have to decorate it so it looks so like the beer So we're going to decorate so the whole bottom. So we're yeah, doing like I'm the color about that of beer. Over there. This is the stencil frosting. she used. Right, that, right, I know, but do you see what it says over the hill? Yeah, so what I did was I flipped it upside down. So the writing is is on the bottom. And then the bottom part, which is the grass, becomes our foam for our beer and then we cut off You're for so the mud. You're so clever, Jen. Ah, thanks. I do what I can. So right, is this so, an IPA or is this a stout You know, here? For, for my husband's sake, it's an IPA. IPA that's his is favorite. the way to go. Okay. Shout out to him. He's the best daddy to our daughter, Emma Reese, Aww. and to our son on the way. Happy Father Day to my daddy. Love you. He's Aww. best. So, so anyway, so this is going to get all our yellow frosting for the beer and then what you're going to you do you kind of are a frosting snob well, See, seeing the way you spread it you're, you're very particular this is an icing knife She's okay. covering but, the like so, so, but, so, but so what's I, the next move I mean, okay, so the next we, we move because this. I say that for the but then you want to mix here I mean kind of a shade of orange this is channeling your inner Bob Ross painter oh yeah and you're going to make straight lines <laughs> happy little which I clouds very very happy little softly beer mug. Just, oh, very yes. softly it's like whispering so I just tinted this with a little extra you can do like a reddish or more yellow food coloring cool. um, but again you can you really can you can buy this from the store and tint it yourself and we want to make the lines to make like our beer mug and then here's where I say so I'm typically I always make my own frosting but here if you buy this in an aerosol can, mm -hmm. when I do it at home, I put it in a piping bag or a plastic bag with a hole. But check out how easy this is. So you can get your kids in the kitchen. Ah, there, you oh, there you go. We're making our froth. And this you is can, okay. You want to have nice. like some, loud. some drips. So artsy, Okay, huh? so if you are not a baker or if you want to do this and you're crunched for time, how easy is this? Your kids will have so much fun. Ooh. And that's all you do. And then you smooth it around and how, you get your How are you guys like celebrating this. Father's Day? We are going to my parents' house. Um, lots of grilling. They always have a ton of food because oh, I so get my entertaining skills from my parents. Well, so you only need they... one beer cake. Uh, so we, we can leave one here so that we can enjoy oh, it, right? At the end of the show, we're going to eat <laughs> it. All right. Jen Press Rada, thank you so much and for coming on the show today. And That's happy so Father's Day to That's so Jen to come. All the steps are on the site so you can check it out there. Awesome Very stuff, good. Jen. Stay Thanks with us. So we'll be right back.